Right, the White House is on the defensive and scrambling to deal with the nationwide shortage of baby formula as increasingly desperate parents plead for answers. Let's go to our White House correspondent, Jeremy Diamond. Jeremy, so what is the White House doing to try to fix this nationwide shortage in baby formula that has left parents all across the country scrambling right now? Well, Wolf, President Biden today outlining a number of steps that his administration is taking to try and address this shortage, including standing up today a new website, hhs.gov slash formula, that will give parents information about where they can get formula, the hotlines uh, for the different manufacturers, as well as other medically relevant information. They're also working with state agencies as well as the manufacturers to ensure that families that are on nutritional assistance, a program called WIC, W-I-C, uh, can uh, purchase any kind of brand that they want, uh, not just necessarily Similac, which is produced by Abbott, uh, which has, uh, of course, was the source of that voluntary recall. They're also considering using the Defense Production Act, but that is a step that wouldn't have a short-term impact. That would be for the longer term. But most importantly, Wolf, next week, the FDA is expected to announce steps to streamline the process of importing baby formula from abroad. That is a step that the FDA commissioner says will dramatically improve the supply in the U.S., in what he is saying is a matter of weeks. Now, President Biden himself, he is, of course, uh, facing criticism from Republicans who say that he should have acted sooner, his administration should have acted sooner. I asked the president about those criticisms just moments ago. Should you have taken those steps sooner before parents got to these shelves and, and couldn't find formula? If we'd been better mind readers, I guess we could have. But we moved as quickly as the problem became apparent to us. and. We have to move with caution as well as speed, because we got to make sure what we're getting is, in fact, first-rate product. That's why the FDA has to go through the process. And now that's a fairly defensive reaction from a president whose administration is trying to show that they are on top of this issue of baby formula. And it's a different response than the one I got from the White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki, who held her last briefing uh, today as she prepares to leave this administration. She told me that the administration has been on top of this from the very start, working for weeks to increase production from other manufacturers like Gerber and Ricketts, increasing production by 50 and 30 percent over the last few weeks. But clearly, Wolf, there is still a lot more work to do as parents across the country are still struggling to find formula on the shelves. They're well, struggling indeed. Jeremy Diamond at the White House, thank you very much. Let's dig deeper right now with our senior medical correspondent, Elizabeth Cohen. Elizabeth, so what do parents need to know? Uh, what are the uh, do's and don'ts uh, in this important issue? Well, unfortunately, there are more don'ts here than do's. So let's take a look. For example, do not make your own formula Infant formula is balanced very, very carefully with the various vitamins and minerals and proteins and sugars. Do not make your own. It could hurt your baby. And also before your baby's first birthday, don't give them cow's milk or soy milk or anything like that. It's either breast milk or infant formula. Those are the two choices. And do not water down the formula. Your child can get very sick if you give them diluted formula, they're not getting the nutrients and the calories that they need. And the last one is talk to your pediatrician, but I wanna caveat this a little bit. Your pediatrician does not know of a secret stash. They don't have some in a basement somewhere or know of some store that you don't know about. But if your child has a particular medical problem, they could be helpful in finding and getting in touch with formula companies or your insurance company to get you some formula. Also, if you're a mother who's recently stopped breastfeeding and transitioned to formula, they can put you in touch with a lactation consultant who might be able to help you reestablish your breast milk supply. Wolf? Elizabeth, are there other resources out there right now to help parents find baby formula? There are resources that parents can consult. I'm not sure that it's gonna help you track down formula, but let's take a look. So the first one is the website that Jeremy mentioned, hhs.gov slash formula. There's lots of information. There's you know 1-800 numbers for the formula companies. From what I could see, you're, again, you're not gonna find a secret stash, but there is lots of good phone numbers and information out there that might help answer some of your questions probably not going to lead you directly to a, to a stash of formula. Also, Abbott, which of course makes Similac, abbottnutrition.com slash store locator, they have a finder where you put in your zip code and you put in the brand you're looking for, and they will tell you uh, stores where it's available. I will tell you though, Wolf, I'm sorry to say this, but many parents have told us they put in their zip code and it said that it had formula at a certain store. They went to the store and that formula wasn't there. So I don't think this is foolproof, but it's certainly a place to start. 